Hello my friend, let's keep talking about ants. Before I start, like, like, like this class. Comment your opinion here. Comment your answers. Share our classes with your friends. Okay? When you interact, we can follow your progress. We can watch you. Unless you, you don't want to be watched. But we want to follow your progress, okay? There we go. Fire ants are aggressive and their stings can be dangerous. Medical attention is sometimes required after people are stung and small animals can even die from multiple fire ant stings. You see how they're powerful. Furthermore, the economic damage caused by the ants, which eat small plants before they have grown to full size, is devastating. This has been the painful discovery that people from the Philippines, China and Australia have made in the last 25 years as fire ants have spread in these countries at an alarming rate due to trade with the US. But why are ants a problem in these countries and not in their native South America? Fire ant colonies have been prevented from growing too, quick, too quickly in South America as a result of parasites, viruses and competition with other ant species. A lack of these natural enemies is believed to be one factor that has allowed fire ants to spread quickly in other parts of the world and is believed to contribute to their survival. For example, only 85 years after their introduction, there were five times more fire ants per kilometer in the US than in their native South America. Moreover, this growth is not slowing down. Scientists believe that fire ants might well spread across half the planet. Now, where are the five fire ants? Where can you see fire ants devastating crops and causing a damage to the economy? Why weren't fire ants a big problem in South America? Why or how did fire ants arrive in China? What is the damage fire ants can cause to the economy? Answer these questions. Comment your answers here. What do you do to get rid of ants at home? comment your technique here. I want to learn your technique. Share this class with your friends. Thank you very much. I'm Felipe Gibi. See you next class. Earthworms are farmers best friend. They improve the quality of farmland by turning over the soil.